Hi, Sukesh. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for calling I me. I thought that, you know, maybe we can actually uh, talk about some of the recent campaigns which you have done this year. Sure. Uh, let's start by talking about uh, the Tata Motors Celebrating Goodness campaign, which is for the bus business in the Middle East. Yes. Um, and uh, I uh, really love that ad, you know. Uh, there was a message of inclusivity, diversity. So I actually want to ask you, um, how important do you think it is for agencies to, you know, localize the message and also be familiar with the local consumers? Uh, because that's what you did with this ad as well. How did you do that? Thank you so much first uh, for liking the ad. Uh, it's really nice to uh, know that the work which was not meant to be released here has made its way here and it's incredible that uh, like you said it was for the Middle East market mm -hmm. and in a day or two it was like you know floating around WhatsApp group and people talking about it and I think that's really the greatness of a good idea. Uh, how powerful it is in today's world and how it doesn't have really border link to it, you know, it's just with no, it's in a different language, people are connecting to it. Uh, and I think uh, it started with the, the second question that you asked, how important it is to know our audience. I think it's extremely important because, uh, see, there are, I feel that when, as a creator and as a, a community of uh, creators for, especially for a branded, I mean, I, I create branded communication which is for a brand and it's not without a brand so for me it's even more relevant to understand what are the sentiments what are the values and in this brief in particular obviously they are the largest uh, uh, suppliers of the bus fleet in uh, in the Middle East and they actually run the and that was one of the you know things in the in the brief that they had added that we uh, take back home uh, most of the children in the Middle East back home or, or to school and back home and uh, and that was something that stuck you know in my mind when when I heard the brief and and this was one of the stories that we wrote and when we wrote the story we spoke to our, a lot of people in our office in Dubai we spoke to people that we knew uh, we also spoke to the clients who are based out there who are working from there and there were a lot of iterations done in understanding and only when we were very sure, in fact, there was another story running parallel with it, which is equally powerful. Mm -hmm. And that didn't make the cut because uh, what everybody felt was the relevancy of this script was far more universal than the other one. What was the other? Uh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> For some other day, we'll talk about that. It was a very good story also. Mm -hmm. uh, so the one of the reasons why this made the cut was uh, what was felt across the table by a lot of team of Tata Motors and their distributors across Middle East felt that this story is something that will probably connect with a lot of parents. We are growing up in a world today where we constantly worry about our children and how they're going to be inclusive and what are we going to do to make them inclusive. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the best part, best thing about children is that they don't differentiate. That's the most magical truth about children. Children just are so uh, innocent in their in their behavior and in the you know in their approach. And as a parent of uh, you know uh, two lovely uh, uh, child that we have, and I see that at home every single day. Uh, they don't differentiate. They don't. They have no judgments like that. They are absolutely like you know. Is uh, they they are yeah. absolutely free flowing. So I took. I borrowed a lot from uh, life uh, and, I, and I, to write this story. And um, I think the result is uh, uh, quite good, if you if I could say so. Mm -hmm. And I'm very happy. And I'm sure uh, some of the very rarely you do a piece of ad. You know, I have in my career I have seen a, when a, a normal man writes an email to you was nothing to do with this business you know we got a couple of emails from people who have nothing to do with the advertising business some people probably working in the Middle East uh, just wrote about what they felt as a parent when they saw this yeah uh, and also understand in that market schools not just the international school but even local schools have children from all ethnicity coming and studying together so it had even far more relevance on them uh, so it was really good I, I mean we are very happy I am uh, sure Tara Motors are very happy and I hope we continue this journey because this was something that they wanted to really uh, uh, create a, a digital film that they wanted to put out there for the audience and I hope this makes them stronger. I'm very, mm. I'm extremely uh, glad to have worked with this team because they were bold enough to do a, uh, a story like this and they were courageous enough to back it. Right. Do you think brands today are seeking more uh, purpose-driven campaigns, even seen with your recent uh, Green Ply campaign and the uh, Huggies ad as well? Mom Good question. I think the, the time has come not to sell but to connect. I just spoke about that in the panel upstairs. I yeah. think brands don't need to sell anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, people uh, are making their choices based on their preferences. Okay. 
we all make our choices based on our preferences or what we feel uh, the clothes that i wear for example i have a, a feeling about what kind of you know fabric they use how they think about as a as a company what it has a point of view the running shoes that i run in the gym that i i think i i as a person i buy things or i uh, buy into thoughts rather than things you know mm -hmm. fundamentally that's what i do as a person and i think most people today are doing the same kind of stuff so brands need to stop selling right I, I, they have to stop selling they can't sell anymore there's no point trying to sell something to somebody i think if you can create a uh, connection with a person mm -hmm. uh, connecting with your thoughts uh, you're you're in a far better place uh, to make a person choose you over uh, somebody else Right. Do you think these ads also help to change the social perception to an extent? I would not be so ambitious. I think we add a we 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 do put a, a line of thought in a person's mind, mm -hmm. and we do contribute a little bit. I think we it's a long way to go. Uh, a society doesn't change with a communication, but a communication starts a conversation. Right. So I don't. I would not assume a, such a high standard for myself. but i definitely feel that we start a conversation and that's a good starting point because if people start talking or at least thinking in that way there will come a time when things will be different but they won't happen overnight no chance not going to happen overnight okay now tell us about the uh, most recent the icc world cup campaign that was a completely whacked out ad i loved it uh, tell us what was the brief and uh, uh, what went into it Great team again, fantastic. See, I, I I've been very lucky. I must say that I uh, the one you mentioned, the Huggies one, slightly earlier. Yeah. Uh, extremely co courageous client again uh, to wanting to do something and not just ma make a you know a, a statement, but do something I strongly feel. And again, most of us, like I said, uh, uh, being a, a, a husband today, I know how difficult it is to you know how much you have to. You must contribute. You must be part of it, and that's a conversation we have you know in in our workplace with our clients because we all the same. We all the same boat. Mm -hmm. We all sailing the same boat, and we know it was not what it was earlier. And we all agree. so even the client, the marketing hand that wanted to do something which is about you know moms need hugs too was a point of view over there. So hence the campaign came out of that nature. Very simple thought. I mean, just a yeah. simple thought. Dads have to do. uh people have to do stuff around them for the moms to be what they can be so that was the idea over there i think coming to world cup mm -hmm. great fun uh yeah. lovely uh brief and what the brief was to well cricket world cup no need to advertise is the is the it's like the the crown yeah. of cricket and the, from that line came the idea crown of cricket okay we have a great history going on with england with the queen with you know the, there's a lot of and the amazing part we found most of them playing are the commonwealth countries most of them minus i think two of them so all of us have been ruled at some point of time uh, by england there's a lot of joke around it and we said you know let's do a campaign from a fan perspective and let's keep that the crown of because it is the crown of cricket the world cup is the crown of world uh, of the cricket trophies there's nothing bigger than that yeah. it's happening in england the lady with the crown the queen So we want to take a lighter side of it, and uh, again, they were. They said we presented the idea. We were laughing. I mean, that was one of the meetings where I laughed the maximum because it's so funny. I mean, we 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 wrote about so many stories. We wrote because when you have an idea that this powerful, you can write endless stories. And I guess it all boiled down to how many can you make because. you know the money is finite but the idea is infinite right so kesh you've been in the industry for nearly two decades now yep what are the some of the biggest changes you've seen you know in terms of briefs coming from clients and brands time i think time is something which is going to be uh, a time to to hold the attention uh, my consumer my audience today has choice of many i i mean not just you know that television screen that he or she watched their evening those of entertainment there's so much there's just so much happening around me so they have a choice and uh, they 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 can just flip you know it's not remote anymore can swipe a finger and you're gone literally yeah but more than that i think as a creator personally uh, the speed at which i have to create is actually even bigger challenge and at the same time still be uh fresh uh, at the same time be um, uh innovative original so i don't have the luxury of time to say that i've got 5 days or one week to think about something things are like yesterday things are so contextual time wise that if you don't answer the problem there and then the problem is gone Right. So I have to, and I'm a problem solver. I, so I have to solve a problem which is relevant today, and not it won't be like history yes, uh, tomorrow. So time, if you ask me, is the biggest change that I've seen in two decades. 
also as an opportunity I keep telling youngsters you know uh, in good old days um, there were films there was print and there was radio and there was nothing else yeah well today the world has opened up uh, you know there's something used to be called if you remember there used to be promotional items that was done earlier mm -hmm. today's activation yeah and they and f amazing work is happening in that industry insanely amazing clutter breaking work is happening in that industry today and anybody can do it. It just takes one, you know, one point of view, one stall in a mall, which everyone is to do in, you know, and they were so boring. The best work is happening there. Uh, so a poster, outdoor is no more, uh, just an outdoor that just looks at you. It is talking to you. So I feel that uh, the young, uh, younger people in our industry today have far better opportunities to, uh, to create better ideas. Mm -hmm. on across different mediums than what uh, what we started off with and that's really great for a creative person because you can use any medium now any medium is a medium to express all right and before i wrap up um what is that for the, for the marketer today uh what do you think are the some of the skill sets that he or she needs to be a successful uh person in the don't advertising don't sell industry? just connect i mean that's all i can say because you can't sell in today's world it's impossible right it's impossible to sell in today's world if you if you can make the connection with the consumer, you, we will be in a far better place. There'll be f the loyalty will be too, uh, like really, it will be so entrenched that uh, the person will believe. We make choices. We, uh, the audience today makes uh, evident choices on things he or she does, and they're very vocal about it. You know. Uh, they have a, uh, they're, they're extremely clear about what I like, what I don't like, what I, what I don't want to do, I do what I want to do. So in that scenario, we have to just connect with them and I hope because all the things that we sell today are being used by the people out there on a day-to-day -day life. So if we connect better, we'll be able to have a larger place of, uh, you know, share of mind and make probably better revenues for ourselves. All right, thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you so much. I hope to speak to you soon again. Yes, for sure. Thank, thank you so you, much. Thank you, thank you so much.